Now we come to our final quick fire round called Scenes We'd Like to See. This is for everyone, so if you can make your way over to the performance area, I call out ideas for scenarios we'd love to see, and the performers come back in with their suggestions. And in the week that Prince William started at Sandhurst, the first subject is the wrong thing to say on your first day in the army. You guys look great. <laughs> When they said it was going to be just like the movies, I didn't realise they meant Brokeback Mountain. <laughs> this room's great. <laughs> Where are the rest of you sleeping? <laughs> I beg your pardon. Drop and give me 20, please. <laughs> you will get nothing by shouting. <laughs> Can I have a cuddle? <laughs> Um, this is just one weekend a month, right? <laughs> so does Teddy get his own bunk? <laughs> if you play your cards right, you might be able to stand outside one of Grandma's palaces. <laughs> <laughs> OK, the next step is some pointers for Sven here, possibly. Bad things for the England manager to be caught saying. Can you just explain the offside rule again to me? <laughs> well, the thing about Crouch is that he's got a very light touch <laughs> for a big man. <laughs> Wayne Rooney may be ugly, but when he holds me in his arms, I feel safe. <laughs> <laughs> I want you to go out there and give it your best for the full 60 minutes. I'll just name the side I think can win the World Cup. It's Brazil. <laughs> Sweden! Sweden! <laughs> OK, the next topic is ill-advised things for a Lib Dem leadership candidate to say. Hello, I'm Charles Kennedy. <laughs> Uh, let me reassure all of you, the only skeletons that I have in my closet are the skeletons of the two people that I killed on a skiing holiday <laughs> over 15 years ago. <laughs> <laughs> it's f***ing <laughs> Mingus! <laughs> <laughs> Sorry I'm late, I had trouble finding a vein. <laughs> As the son of God. <laughs> oh, I tell you, the best thing about uh, being a Liberal Democrat the bitches. <laughs> oh, what's the point? <laughs> Bad things to say at Prime Minister's question time. <laughs> Prime Minister, could you look interested while I bring up some boring shit about my constituency? <laughs> <laughs> Is this going to take long? Cos I've got an appointment with a rent boy in half an hour. <laughs> <laughs> Can I ask the Prime Minister, are you paying too much for car insurance? <laughs> <laughs> We've got one, we've got two, we've got two more poofs than you! <laughs> uh, could, could I ask the Prime Minister, when are you going to retire, you bastard? <laughs> Prime Minister, my first is in pee, but not in canoe. <laughs> what am I? <laughs> OK, next topic is the very worst person to be President of the US. I am President Jimmy, and the band was. <laughs> sure, what day, what day? <laughs> I'm Barry Scott, and this is Silly Bang. <laughs> this round is much easier if you can do impressions. <laughs> Calm down, dear. It's a commercial. <laughs> Next topic is 
unlikely things to hear at the Oscars. And the award goes to Ross Kemp. <laughs> <laughs> The dress. Oh, Primark. <laughs> <laughs> Unfortunately, King Kong can't be with us tonight, but... <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I wasn't even in that one. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. This will be on eBay tomorrow morning. <laughs> They said they couldn't make the Sally Gunnell story. <laughs> but here we are! <laughs> I'd like to thank the person who cast me as a blind, autistic, Parkinson disease-ridden newt <laughs> for, for making this award almost inevitable. <laughs> uh... For best film in a foreign language, Pride and Prejudice. <laughs> Death to the West! <laughs> As a gay cowboy, I think I know where I'll be putting this little fella. <laughs> Unlikely things for a Winter Olympics commentator to say. Points off the Danish team for exploding. <laughs> I love it when they do that! <laughs> That's the best bit! <laughs> and now the four words that no ice dancer ever wants to hear. Release the polar bear. <laughs> <laughs> of course, bribery no longer exists in the Olympic movement. Welcome to the Winter Games here in Basingstoke. <laughs> The upturned bobsleigh providing a fitting coffin. <laughs> Have you ever stared at snow so long it turns to blood? <laughs> <laughs> My goodness, the band must just be fed up with playing the British national anthem. <laughs> OK, the next topic is... What you don't want to hear in an NHS hospital. Can you go for a shit so the surgeon can get his car keys back? <laughs> There's been the most hilarious misunderstanding during your vasectomy. <laughs> <laughs> MRSA, yeah, I think they tried to give me a credit card. <laughs> The face transplant's gone well. I think you look better as a black man. <laughs> I've come to take your blood sample. <laughs> <laughs> now, you're sure you had legs when you came in? <laughs> <laughs> the next topic is... Commercials that never made it to air. Fed up with an untidy toolbox, buy the Abu Hamza multi-tool. <laughs> Start the day with a protein boost with Kellogg's pork flakes. <laughs> Come home to a real fire. Visit the Danish embassy. <laughs> <laughs> My bank became a wine bar. To be honest, I quite like it. <laughs> The Indonesian children who made these trainers know that if they miss a single stitch, their family will be beaten with sticks. That's <laughs> how we can guarantee you quality. <laughs> Use Vanish, like me, Sol Campbell. <laughs> Accident at work? Look where you're going, you dozy bastard. <laughs> Blue roll, why not use this fluffy dog? <laughs> Dry skin, itchy, flaking scalp, you disgust me. <laughs> what you don't want to hear a Prime Minister say. Gordon, I've discovered how to make myself immortal. <laughs> uh, well, who'd have thought it? Ah, 
Unfortunately, we have received no such undertaking, <laughs> and we are now at war with Wales. <laughs> Celeb big brother, and now this! <laughs> Get me an 18 inch knife and a hand grenade. I'm sorting this Iraq shit out. <laughs> <laughs> so, there were these two Muslims who walked into a bar. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Mr. President, you're hurting me. <laughs> <laughs> Just like to play you a little song I've written. <laughs> <laughs> Members of the house, the band was. <laughs> <laughs> so what day? What day? <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> the next topic is in the week in which Tony Blair's plane was forced to land due to engine trouble, unsettling things to hear from the cockpit of a plane. Thank God we're flying. I'm too pissed to drive. <laughs> We're about to experience a little bit of turbulence and then a lot of falling. <laughs> <laughs> this is the captain speaking. We're out at the moment. Please leave a message after the turn. <laughs> Don't uh, panic. Just think of it as landing more vertically than normal. <laughs> Help me with my seatbelt, Abu. I can't do it with this damn hook. <laughs> <clears throat> OK, Captain Thomas, uh, when I tap the windscreen, I want you to stop. <laughs> if you look out over the right wing, you'll see the burning remains of the left wing. <laughs> <laughs> and the next topic is bad Valentine cards to receive. I want to bonk you senseless tonight. Lots of love, your cellmate. <laughs> <laughs> Roses are red, violets are blue. I have chlamydia, and now so do you. <laughs> I can't wait to feel your flesh next to mine again. Love, Mum. <laughs> I will be as faithful to you as any dog and come when you whistle. <laughs> <laughs> Dear heart, are you paying too much for your car? <laughs> I love you. Please send this letter on to ten other people. <laughs> what not to say on receiving a Winter Olympics medal? I hate my national anthem. Could you play Love on the Rocks? <laughs> Listen, blood, have you got one with, like, uh, like some, a ganja leaf or something like that on it? Or, like, maybe an AK-47? <laughs> this is great. I didn't even realise it was a sport. <laughs> Gold for Switzerland! I'll put it with the rest of the Nazi stuff. <laughs> Could you just hang the medal off my neck brace? <laughs> <laughs> I'd like to thank my mother for providing my urine sample. <laughs> the gold for women's curling. This will take pride of place in the office that I clean. <laughs> <laughs> Whoops! <laughs> Sorry about the yellow stain at the top of the ski jump. <laughs> Thanks for the medal. The band was. <laughs> so what it? What it? <laughs> and that's why we call him Four Man Bob. <laughs> <laughs> okay, the next topic is improbable things for Osama bin Laden to say in his tapes. This is ridiculous. It must be your turn to hide. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think? Lose the beard? 
Anyway, that's enough talk from me. It's five to six, and it's time for Al Qaeda's non-stop music marathon. Less talk, <laughs> more music. Here's David Bowie with China Girl. <laughs> <laughs> Stop! You're recording over my wedding video! <laughs> I've just seen the funniest cartoon. <laughs> Do you think this cave makes me look a bit gay? <laughs> <laughs> so, who could live in a cave like this? <laughs> Google Maps. <laughs> I'm Osama bin Laden. And this is Silit Bang. <laughs> <laughs> so, I've only just heard it. You get a yak and some peanuts. <laughs> it'll go. I'm coming out. <laughs> the next topic is unlikely things for a TV announcer to say. For those of you of a nervous disposition, you may be disturbed to know that your television is off and I'm speaking to you from inside your own head. <laughs> Next on Channel 4, wizened, sanctimonious old jobby sniffer Gillian McKeith gets a slap from a fat housewife. <laughs> uh, well, that's it. Don't forget that BBC 24 goes through the night, as do I. <laughs> Next on Channel 5, a sensitive documentary um, entitled The Boy Who Looked Like a Baboon's Arse. <laughs> <laughs> You're watching ITV1. Uh, why are you doing that? I've got, the, <laughs> I've got the listings in front of me and we've got nothing. <laughs> nothing. <laughs> you may be interested to know I am completely naked and playing with myself. <laughs> We interrupt tonight's showing of The Sixth Sense with some breaking news. Bruce Willis is a ghost. <laughs> <laughs> if you have been affected by any of the issues raised in Balamori... <laughs> <laughs> tonight's episode of Songs of Praise contains strong language and scenes of a sexual nature. <laughs> Thank you, the winner, ladies and gentlemen. You're welcome back. <laughs>